So we're in Excel 2013 and we want to create a chart for this data which will require a secondary access. You can see that I've got three series of data here, one of which uh, contains values that are a lot lower than the other two series. Uh, so a secondary axis will be required. Works slightly differently uh, in Excel 2013. Um, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Uh, my favorite way of, cry of um, creating a chart has always been to click somewhere in the data and then press the F11 key on your keyboard. That's the F11 key. And that just creates the default chart for you on a separate sheet. What I then would need to do on this design tab is click on change chart type and then go down to the combo chart type at the bottom of this list. And now it becomes pretty obvious how you assign a series to a secondary axis. All I would do is say, well, Bob versus Bill is the one I want to put on the secondary axis. Click in this little tick box in the preview, it shows you what it's done. I can even change the type of a chart assigned to that series. The line graph works pretty well. So that's the first way of doing things. Uh, second way, and this is even quicker really, uh, again you click somewhere in the data, uh, go up to the insert tab on your ribbon and use this recommended charts button. Now look at this, if I click on that, what it's doing is coming up with re recommended chart types for my data. It's analyzed the data in my chart and said, well, what would be the most appropriate chart type? And it selected the combo chart type straight away. So really, I don't need to do anything else. If I did need to customize it, I could just go to all charts, combo, and make my changes down here as we did in the first example. Click on OK. There's my combo chart. 